Chinese shares plunged more than 7% in early trade today, prompting the market's circuit breaker system to take place for the second time this week. The stock market dive sent shockwaves across Asia, including markets here in Seoul, and led global oil prices to hit a 12-year low. Kim Min-ji brings us the details. Trading in China was halted just after 29 minutes and was suspended for the rest of the day on Thursday after the main Shanghai index dropped over 7 percent. The new stock market circuit breaker was triggered for the second time this week. The sluggish factory activity survey first sent stocks to dive on the first trading day of the new year. The suspension this time came as China accelerated the weakening trend of its weon. On Thursday morning, China's central bank set the currency half a percent down the Wednesday's fix, the lowest point in nearly five years. In the face of economic slowdowns, countries are trying to boost momentum through devaluating their currencies, resulting in a zero-sum game. Asian stocks as well as global oil prices took a hit from the news, with the West Texas Intermediate sliding more than five percent to the lowest in 12 years. Japan's Nikkei shed 2.3 percent, while South Korea's benchmark Kospi ended down over 1 percent to the lowest point in four months. The South Korean won also slid, closing at over 1,200 against the U.S. dollar. It's the first time in four months that the won was traded above the 1,200 mark. Given such uncertainty stemming from Beijing, coupled with other factors like Pyongyang's latest provocation, Seoul's economic policy makers are pledging to keep a close eye on market movements. Fears for China's hard landing and rising tensions in the Middle East are heightening concerns across the world, and we are fully aware of these threats. The South Korean government, however, tried to put markets at ease, saying the local stock market is remaining relatively calm and that volatility will likely prove short-lived. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.